Hello again, Pokemon fans! I'm Jeff of the Game Capital, and today we are going to open up a brand new product release. And that is the Detective Pikachu Cafe Figure Collection. According to the Poke Beach website, this is not supposed to release in North America and Europe until, I think it was June 28th. And today is what, May 13th, I believe? It's a Monday. I'm recording the same day it's going live. I just found this at my local Target. Uh, I'm not sure it's supposed to be a Target exclusive or what exactly. Uh, so I don't know if this is like an early breach release date or what the case is. I only saw one on the shelf. Uh, they also have a Target exclusive Greninja special case file, which has a binder and some stickers or notepad and stuff like that. Same promos and stuff as the regular Greninja GX case file has, um, but kind of like the two Detective Pikachu things where one's $10, one's $15. The $15 one includes a binder. That same kind of difference um, on the side of the Ash Gr not Ash Greninja, just Greninja GX box. Now, uh, based on C, this of course comes with a figure and a new promo card as well. Flip that open. You can see the inside there. Uh, it's hard to tell my packs are in there, but don't wear, don't worry, never fear. It does say on the back exactly what's included. So, oh geez, let's see. Uh, oh boy, we got this, we got this. All right, coffee is fuel for this detective. Deep into the night, Detective Pikachu is on the case, pursuing clues, sorting out the facts, and drinking a lot of coffee. This collection includes the world-class detective as a foil card and as a finely sculpted figure, fueling up for a night of detective work. Add this electric-type sleuth to your Pokemon TCG collection and keep the figure in your desk or next to your own coffee machine. And that says the TCG Detective Pikachu Cafe figure collection includes, kind of a long title, but it is what it is, the one foil promo card, the one figure, four Detective Pikachu four card booster packs, two additional packs, which I think it was Sun and Moon Base and Brain Shadows look like, and then a code card for the Pokemon trading card game online, which I assume would grant you uh, the promo card and no packs, I'm guessing. Let's bring this behind camera get unboxed, uh, just so I don't knock the camera over, slide the playmat, the set, whatever. Just destructive things happen when I try to do that, and I'll just destructively destroy this box in the process. Whether it's behind camera or not, but it is what it is. So, so you can see there's no shenanigans. We'll, we'll slide out of the box. There it is. I just got to quick check where the code is. I... Where is the code? I... It must be between packs. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure this out. Oh, it's behind the promo card. And see, I wish they would do this for all promo procs, like the GX boxes that aren't Tech Pikachu, like the little Marowak box. When they put them in like this, they don't fall out. And they don't get ruined. So, do more of this, Pokemon. Do more of this. I think I saw Darium's in a video, too, with the little Marowak saying, you know, stop destroying our promos, because that happens a lot. But the Detective Pikachu product line, they did a good job with those. Um, yeah, I'll just show you here up close. Show you all the edges. This, this looks, there's a little, little white spot up there, but, you know, that's going to happen. It's going to happen, but... There's no, like, dense abrasions, whatever you want to say. So it actually appears to be, you know, a near-mint Pokemon card out of the packaging. As you'd hope for, fresh out of the packaging. This is promo SM170. It's got 90 HP. Scout, your opponent reveals their hand. Surprise attack does 80. But if you flip a coin, well, you have to flip a coin. If you get tails, the attack does nothing. Retreat cost of 2. And look at that adorable Detective Pikachu, a.k.a. Deadpool a.k.a. Peekapool or Dead Chew or whatever you want to call him. But that is what that is. And then the very adorable figure comes fully assembled. He's on a little bar stool. He's got his Detective Pikachu hat. He's got his steaming hot coffee Joe, cup of joe of coffee there. Very cute, adorable Pikachu figure. Very nicely done. Very finely sculpted indeed as the back of the box set, I believe. Very cute. Very nice addition to anyone's Pokemon figure collection. That's nice. That's a nice figure. All right. And then, oh yeah, I got the code card already, so booster packs. We've got four packs of Detective Pikachu. We've got some encasing there. Sun Moon Base and Burning Shadows. The shadows that burn. All right, let's go boom, two, and burning, and two. We'll go like that, shall we? We shall. Let's do this. Start off with the pack of Sun and Moon base set. Be, be incredible to find like an ultra rare, secret rare ultra ball or something like that, but 
We've had really good luck so far from the Tech Pikachu procs getting Ultra Rares from the Sun and Moon packs. Uh, I think we... I don't remember exactly, but we've, we've gotten some good hits. I think we... Did we get Top of Lele out of one of them? I think we got a Lele GX out of one of them before. But I check out our videos of at least one or two of them up in the ad cards if you want to check them out. The Mewtwo GX box, Charizard GX box, Ranger GX box, the different Pikachu case files, and the tin. So six different procs for this one, I think. This is proc number seven then. So we got Fire Energy, Growlithe, Grubbin, Zubat, Torkoal, Rowlet, Araquanid, Exp Share, Spinda, Surskit Reverse, and a rare Butterfree. So nothing fancy going on that time. And now the four card booster packs of Detective Pikachu. Open two of these first. I keep forgetting these actually do have code cards in them as well, which will always be white codes because. All the cards are foil, so, you know, we've got the Continuous Liquor Lickiton, Jigglypuff with Healing Melody, Magikarp. We've only gotten Jigglypuff and Sonic in the same pack once, and that was the last pack we opened before today of this set on video as well. And then we've got Arcanine for our rare with the Security Guard ability. And again, each pack has one rare, sometimes you get a Hollow Star rare. Uh, where the star of the rare is actually foil. Um, the four different foil rares, remember right, is Ditto, Mewtwo, Charizard, and Greninja. Greninja, definitely the most sought after card right now in this set. Um, some for the most as well, and it has the most potential in competitive play. Um, we actually had that go uh, 3-0 and in a recent shop tournament we had in our stores, so it's got potential. It's got potential. Next up, we've got more Lull, Snubble, Magikarp again, and the rare this time, it's Charizard with Slash and Wild Tackle. Very nice, very nice. We'll sleeve that one up right away. Not really overly relevant for competitive play, but still a nice card for collectors, because Charizard is always a hot collector's item, hot commodity there. All right, moving on to Burning Shadows. Maybe we can find another Charizard. I I'd, be, I'd be down. Maybe, maybe of a, the Rainbow Rare variety? That'd be, that'd be okay. I'd be okay with that. It'd be pretty neat. Pretty neat. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. Three and three. Bring that energy to the front. Water Energy. Ladybug. Caterpie. Sandy Gast. What's this one? Slayer Tex. I always got to check on these guys. Born from a sand mound, playfully built by a child, this Pokemon embodies the grudges of the departed. I have a sneeze coming. My apologies in advance if it happens. Or I might just ward off. We'll see. <sighs> nope. Nope. It happened. It happened. All right. We got Venipede. Sneasel. Oh, this one's got creepy things too, I think. It has a cutting yet savage disposition. It waits for parents to leave their nests and then sneaks in to steal their eggs. Sneasel, as you can tell by that art, very conniving, very evil, very dark. Not, not someone you want to have around if you're leaving your, your children or your eggs unattended. <laughs> We've got Heatmore the Anteater. It actually is Anteater Pokemon. I said it before I even read it, but... We haven't had too many... Is this the last Heatmore card we had? I don't think we get too many Heatmore cards. I don't think. Weakness Policy. Poe Town. Reverse Rare Electivire. And a Slow came with Drift Ashore and Unarmed Attacks. Alright, let's round this off with two more packs of Detective Pikachu. Can we find that coveted Greninja card? Well, we got a Psyduck. That's always good. Um, the target I found this product, actually, um, I went there for the event. I got there two minutes late at 102. They were supposed to be giving out the Psyduck promo from 10 to 1, but they apparently did not get the promos in at all. They are giving out packs, but I got there two minutes late because there was a road close that made me had to detour and end up getting their comments after one. Uh, so I am getting nothing. They had no posters. They had no QR codes for the um, Pokemon Pass stuff. So... Yeah, that was a disappointment, but here's one more Psyduck for my collection. But if anyone does have those Psyduck promos, hit me up. I am looking for all I can get of those because Psyduck is my favorite Pokemon, and I love the artwork of the promo from Target, and I have none so far, and I would love to get as many for my collection as possible because I love Psyduck. Who wouldn't love Psyduck? Then we got a Schnubble. I'm going to put Psyduck behind me here because I, I keep all the Psyducks I pull from this set. More low, and a Ditto, so another... Star Hollow, Hollow Star Rare. I forget what I coined them as in past videos. My apologies. 
but not too shabby. Ditto and Charizard. And all the foil stars, star rares, star hollows, whatever I call them, they're all pretty decent to pull. If you pull them, you're doing okay. You're doing okay. I think Mewtwo might be the cheapest of the three. Uh, Charizard's probably the most collectible. And Greninja's the most playable. Ditto's got some playability. But anyways, this is our last pack and last chance for glory. We've got Bulbasaur. Lickitung once more. Jigglypuff once more. And Detective Pikachu to end it on. That's fading enough. With Scout and Surprise Tech. I think this is the most valuable card you can get that's not one of the star foil rares. So, not too shabby. I'll stick that one in sleeve as well. But that'll do it for today's unboxing. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, I mean, if you didn't, I still appreciate you subscribed and rock smash that like button. Visit thegamecapital.com for your Pokemon card and other TCG needs. And I uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, whenever, wherever that may be, including later tonight on twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. Maybe see you there, otherwise, whenever, wherever that may be. See you later, everybody.